Welcome to Insta Chat with the Journalist. I'm the journalist DJ, aka Andile, and uh, today my guest is Karian the Soul, who is a young man who is very, very, very talented, and uh, you know he is known in the house uh, sp sp uh, space as a producer DJ, and you know he's made a lot of hits. And yeah, you know, today I'll be just chatting to him about his career. And uh, yeah, he just joined us actually. He, sorry, we're running a bit late because, um, you know, the, he was in studio making more music for us. So let me just add him on so that we can get the show on the road. Uh, yeah, and thank you guys for, for joining us so quick. Uh, it's a beautiful Friday evening and uh, another lockdown weekend. But yeah, we are making the most out of it. So yeah, man, uh, you know, Kerry Anderson is, uh, his name is Bongani. And he's from the Eastern Cape. And uh, he's a very young man, but he's already making like big moves in the dance space. You know, you, if, 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 you, if you love clubbing, if you like going out, you've probably heard these songs being played by the likes of Black Coffee, um, you know, the likes of Ephonic, all the big DJs. He makes Afro House, Afro Tech, you know? That's his vibe. So yeah, he'll be joining us shortly. I just added him now. Um, I, I think the network is just, uh, might be giving us issues, uh, but yeah, he's, he's gonna join us. So yeah, shout out to Kerry and the Soul for making time to join us today. <laughs> Oh, hey, is, yo, are you okay, bro? <laughs> hey, I'm <laughs> gonna <laughs> yeah, No, man. Uh, thank you, thank you for making time to to be with us today, bro. Yo, man, thank you for having me. Oh, wait, Otherwise, uh, you good? I know I'm good, man. I understand uh, that you know you were just in studio now. Um, yeah, yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we're running a bit late. What are you working on? What are you doing in the studio, bro? Yeah, I was recording one of the songs I'm working on. So, yeah. Today we're recording the vocals, yeah. I won't tell you who I was recording, though, yeah. It's still a secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no it's, no, it's fine, man. It's fine. Um, you, you don't normally record uh, with, uh, with vocalists on, on your music. So, I think that's interesting, you know? Why, uh, why is that? I do. It's just that I haven't like released a lot of uh, a lot of vocal songs, but I have quite a, a few uh, vocal songs that I've worked on, especially last year. Because mm. uh, last year I planned to to release, uh, not release, but then yeah, I was working on an album which I uh, I never released because I ch I changed my plans. Yeah. So uh, during that time, uh, I, I I recorded a lot of uh, vocal songs uh, with uh, Zao, Yolanda, and uh, mm, who else was on the project? But then uh, those songs that I worked on then, the songs that I'm going to be releasing bit by bit as singles, uh, later on this year, going on to 2021, yeah. Okay. Hey, listen, listen to us getting straight into business. I didn't even yeah, ask... Yeah, man. I, I didn't even <laughs> ask the, the, the intro questions first. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's cool, man. Let's not intro. Yeah, but, I, but, I mean, people know you, you know, but, you know, uh, for those who may not know, you know, can you just tell, t t tell us your... Yo, you know, like your stage name, man. When I first saw that name, I thought you were like a, a an international guy. I didn't think you were you, you were a Bongani. You know, why go with the name Kerry and the Soul? Bonga, Bonga. It's not yeah. Bongani. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. Oh, Bonga. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just Bonga. Oh, oh look, man. Bonga J. Nah, it's cool. Uh uh kind of soul is actually an african name uh so back in uh i was still 
so so when I started producing and DJing, I had another name, which I changed. Yeah, I used to call. I used to go by the name uh, uh, Master Soul. I uh, at that time I was I was uh, I was I was doing deep house. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yeah, man, Master of All Souls. <laughs> <laughs> That's I a typical know, it's, deep house name. <laughs> it's uh, it's very typical. It's, it's a very wet name. So mm-hmm. what made me change that name? Uh, when I opened my SoundCloud and uh, I was searching for my account, I'm like Master Souls. Now there's like thousands of Master Souls, Master Souls from China, Master Souls from India. I was like, ah, nah. <laughs> Now, how am I going to promote my music with, with this name? So, this other time, I was going to, to this event in Newtown with a friend. So, they had this invitation, which they listed a number of, uh, of, of drums, uh, African drums. So, like, uh, Udu drum. And then that's where I came across the name Kayenda. Kayenda is an African drum which ori- originates from Kenya. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an African Kenya drum. So, yeah, it's, it's actually not an international name. It's, a, it's our own name. Mm. Okay. So that's where, yeah. Yeah, no, thank you so much for, for schooling me, man. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, you know, and, and I understand your journey, you know, started uh, back in... 2015, uh, you know, um, when, when you dropped uh, a project, we live for our music. Um, during that time, what was going through your mind in terms of like your your projection of your career when you started out with that with that project? Uh, so, um, actually, uh, I started in uh, 2014. I started producing music. Mm-hmm. And uh, in 2015, that's when uh, I, w- I did a lot of uh, music production and I never released until uh, December 2015 because I wasn't sure about the music I was making, yeah. So, so, so this, this is what happened. Uh, I was already DJing at that time. So what I... What I I always wanted to do was to be able to mix my own production with songs that I'm already playing on my DJ sets. Oh. So, yeah. So I went on produ- until I made this song, 18 Bars, which I was able to mix with a Kulodi song song or a Takapo song during my set. And I was like, yeah, now this, this, now this one, this is the song that I can, I can release. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And and and, and, I, and I was gonna ask you about you know your influences, uh, because oh yeah, because you're a young guy, man, and already you know you, you know you're playing alongside, uh, Black Coffees, your Tulo the songs, <clears throat> the couples, your Euphonics. You know what I mean? So yeah, already you know what takes a lot of guys ten years, fifteen years to achieve. I mean, you started producing. You started producing in 2014, and then by 2015, you released something. You know, so it took yeah. you a very short space of time. You know, which is which, which is amazing, and and I think that's what a lot of people vibe with you. You know, because of that. So, like playing alongside those guys, like what 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 have you learned the most from them? Like the the the, the, the giants that you play alongside. Mm, uh, even w- working with them in studio, man. I've, I've, cause uh, when when you when you when you starting to 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 produce, like you don't know much about the game, so you like outside, if I can say. So mm. as you connect with these other guys who have been in the game for 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 quite some time. So you're able to to learn like some things that you you can't see from the outside. Mm. Uh, yeah, musically mm. and also about about the industry and also like uh, as a producer, which which steps you should take just to to make sure that you 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 get your your stuff right. 
Oh, okay. No, no, I, I, I hear you, bro. And what, what moment did you realize that you know your name was getting out there when you were playing? Do you remember a moment where you were playing, or maybe when you met someone and you were like, "Wow, okay, I'm quite big," <laughs> or you know, the brand is, the songs are getting out there. It was, it was 2018, uh, when I released Waka. Yeah. Uh, mm. In 2018, I released an, uh, an EP uh, wa titled Waka. So there's a song there, which, yeah, it just, yeah, it went everywhere. Yeah. It, yeah. That song just went everywhere. And I, I made that song early 2018. Uh, yeah, around October 2018, that's when uh, I, 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 I dropped, I think. So... Mm. Before before he dropped, uh, I was working on a collaboration song with with U U Kofi. So when we met, I I said I sent him Iland Iwaka. So that time he was traveling traveling between uh, Mzansi and and Ibiza. Mm. So so this other weekend I was with him. I sent him the song, and then he traveled back to Iland to, to his residency, and then he sent me the a, a video of him playing the song. Mm. And then, yeah, he also posted the song, yeah, from them, and it, like, it just went crazy until it it, it it dropped, and yeah, that song just is ever growing. So that was the that was the time when I was like, yeah. Mm. Okay, so so it's safe to say that you know, Waka changed your life. Yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I know that's dope, man. And then yeah, that, the... that was like that was like my introduction. Uh, to to the local and international scene, that was like yeah, now yeah, kind of soul is here. I, I can say. Okay, and then like tell me, man, like obviously when you start getting international recognition, um, you know people might hit you up from you know overseas to say, look, man, come play, or we wanna work yeah. with you. Um, you know, I I understand that you are uh, you work with Dope Works. Uh, record label are you signed or you just, is it a collaboration with them how, 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 is, that, how, how is that partnership so in, in was it 20 uh, 2017 yeah i was signed uh, i was signed by kenny dope on his stable dope works records so i released a, a, a song on his compilation and also an ep on his label so yeah, I was signed to the label for a year. So so you're not signed anymore? No, 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 no. That was only for a year, then yeah, after that, yeah, I'm I'm not even now. Okay, so 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 moving forward, man, like um, you know, obviously twenty twenty it's a it's 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 a it's a different year for everyone. And besides that, you know, like record labels, you know, we see a lot of a lot of artists being more independent <coughs> moving forward. <coughs> Do you think? I know. Bless you, brother. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you, man. Bless, no. I know. Bless you, brother. I, just, um, I can't call from camera. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. You can call, man. It's, no. It's, it's, it's love, yeah. <laughs> you, you guys are gonna screen record me and be like, "Yo, Kaida is just Corona." <laughs> <laughs> ah, bro. Even, even if you have, man, they say they say we all gonna get Corona at some stage. You know, all the you know. Who, who says that? We have to survive it. Who said that? Yeah. Uh, health, uh, the health minister, Virgin Keys. I've, I've been on lockdown at home, man. Are you telling me I'm going to get this thing now? No, yeah. That... They, they, they said that, you know, um, most of us are going to get it eventually. But, oh. uh, you know, uh, yeah. But hopefully. Well, by the then, time, in that case, yeah. they might as well open the class, I guess, if we are yeah. going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, they can't do that because you know um, some people can't survive it. So that's why they're trying to. Nah, you know, I'm, just, I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know. Yeah, no, but it's, I miss Groove, bro. I miss Groove. Yeah, um, man. My question, my question was, bro. Like, do you think it's necessary? Do you think record labels um, I need? I still need it mo moving forward, especially with the new generation producers um, in the house scene. Yeah. Uh, I think they are, they are still a need for for some people. It depends on on the artist, cause 
not everyone has uh, uh, that um, independency mindset and not skill, but you can you can you can learn the skill. But uh, some people just are not able to 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 open their own labels and just push because they mm. would do that and and expect things to happen. But then you know there's 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 more that needs to be put towards a, a label. But then it's it's not like before where they were like the thing like you have to get signed. Now you can you you can like be out there without being signed. So I I can say it's it's just up to you now. It's it's not like before. Now it's up to you if you want to be signed or not. Yeah. Mm, okay. No. I know I I hear you man. And then 2020 bro, you know you you just dropped the journey uh which is a, 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 fi a fire record uh so which all, all, also obviously you know just speaks about i mean just the name itself the journey explains obviously that you know you are on yeah. your journey uh how is that song doing for you so far yeah it's it's, it's it's doing amazing that song man uh it's doing amazing uh it is like yeah I uh, forgot the last time I checked, but yeah, the numbers are, are doing quite well, even for, for lockdown. Because yeah. I was a bit scared to release that song during lockdown. It's a, it's a very club, club, club song. It's a big club song. So tracks like that, you want to give it to DJs. DJs, they test it out, you know. And then with that, like, the song spreads more. It's, it's not limited. Mm. to only my 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 followers and maybe someone that has heard it from uh an online podcast because mm. it's not playing on radio yeah I've, I've i've tried to put it on radio but yeah pss, aish, there's people <laughs> yeah was, gonna, and, <clears throat> yeah sorry yeah, sorry yeah, yeah. no no you can go ahead no 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 i was gonna say i was just gonna add on and say the the song sounds a bit more you know it sounds a bit gormish yeah, you know, I can't. Yeah. I, I, yeah, or, or, is there a reason why you went with that? You know, besides your normal Afro house, <laughs> Afro tech feel. Yeah, so I made the song in 2015. No, oh. no, 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 no. I'm lying. No, it was 2017. Yeah, October 2017. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm I'm from the Eastern Cape, man. Boom is, is is the thing there. Like, if you if you can club hop there, like. Club to club, was it home from eight to five? Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, well, growing up there, like, yeah, it home is, is a sound that I like. I grew up hearing all the time. It's not my style of music, but like, yeah, there's some influence. You call me, we we sound yam, which will be the drums. So uh, when I made that song, I wanted to 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 infuse my, my sound and e, e home, just to come up with something, Jay, something different. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, that's very interesting, man. I, 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 didn't, I didn't know that. And, you know, you, you mentioned earlier that you, you gave the song to radio and they don't really want to play it. But on, on social media, you are getting love, man. Not social media. Yeah. I think you're getting love. One yeah, million, bro. one million plays. How does it feel for you to get one million plays on on iTunes? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That, yeah. You know, like uh, I I got that notification uh three weeks before I posted. Yeah, like uh, hey, it's a big thing, man. Coming from uh twenty 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 views on on thingy on on SoundCloud, because I used to post a lot on SoundCloud growing up, to, to a million is, is is a big achievement for me, yeah. Mm. It, it just, yeah, it shows the growth that I've, 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 I've managed to, to build. Okay. So, obviously, people are loving your music if you can get one million plays. And, uh, you know, does this yeah. mean that, are, are you closer to dropping that album that you've been delaying? Mm, no. I'm not, I'm not going to drop that album. I was supposed to drop that album last year. So, but then, yeah, like a lot of things just happened. So, like I said earlier on, 
what I'm going to do instead of dropping that hour, I'm going to drop uh, singles and EPs. So the first song, the journey is actually from that album. Mm. Yeah. So the other song, which is going to drop very soon, mm, I can't say when, but then very soon, there's a song uh, with Zal. Uh, it's unreleased, it's titled In Control, yeah. But then I've been playing it in, in, in my mixes, so a couple of people know about it. They've been hitting me up. So it's one of the songs which is coming it was for the album. But also, I'll be dropping more songs from that album, like EP. I'm going to like create EPs from songs uh, on that album, yeah. Mm, okay, so no album for you, just just singles and EPs. Uh, no, uh, I am gonna do an album. Uh, I've always wanted to to. I, I grew up like uh, I grew up at at an era where artists were were releasing albums. So like an album is like that uh, achievement thing for me. So whether like albums are not the thing anymore. I can't say when or or how soon will I drop an album, but then definitely an album is something I will work on, like that whole full body of work, yeah. Okay, cool. And then, you know, with the culture of Afro House and Afro Tech DJs, there's this culture of not wanting to release songs or sharing songs just among DJs and not releasing, <clears throat> maybe taking months to release a song, but you hear the song, you know, yeah. What, what's that? Why, why do you guys do that, man? I've always wanted to ask, uh, you know, uh, you guys that question. I, I also want to know, why do these guys do that? I, <laughs> I don't do it. <laughs> do I do it? So I don't know. With, I don't. Maybe I do, but I don't, I don't hold on songs, just J. Uh... So with me, I know the song that people have been asking about. The reason why those songs are not out <clears throat> is probably because some of them uh, I've managed to find like like good labels for, and then sometimes it just takes time to 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 get the right deal. So I don't I wouldn't just drop Jay for the for the sake of it. So to answer you. Well, for me, I, I, I drop music with with plan with a plan. Okay. So you might have heard the song on the mix. Doesn't mean it will drop now until there's a plan to for me to to fully push the song. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, no, I get you, man. Makes makes complete sense. Dobeko wants to know when are we getting a uh, Body Sun remix? <laughs> okay, uh, Body Sun. Body Sun is a bootleg, an official remix. So last year I made that remix. I was meant to drop that remix last year until uh, a close friend of mine sent that song uh, to, to Rai, Rai X. Mm -hmm. So so Ryx has heard the song. So now I'm hoping for the song to 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 at least release as a, an official uh, thingy release. So that's why, I like, I've been like, uh, I've been had like uh, uh, feedback, the right feedback on what's gonna happen with the song yet. So mm. yeah, that's why I've been holding on to that one. Yeah, man, you know, um, doing a bootleg of a song can be tricky. Has, have you ever got into trouble for bootlegging someone's song? Nah, nah, nah. So uh, bootlegs are not really my thing. But then when I bootleg, they just turn out to be good remixes, man. And then I just try to send them to the owners and they respond back. So I always try to make the songs official. So that's why even with uh, No War, it's the same thing. Uh, we got in touch with uh, with Amir's team. They responded. 
but then also with that one there's there's no straight direction on what's going to happen mm, okay damn it seems like you know the back end stuff it takes a lot of time and a lot of back and forth you know that's why yeah us as the listeners we're like yeah but we have the song when is it coming? <laughs> yeah Uh, yeah. Sisera wants to know: Have you thought about collaborating with the Africa Deep? Yeah, yeah, he's a he's a dope producer, man. Yeah, I, I dig with I dig his stuff. Okay. So so yeah, no, I guess you guys will collaborate when. Yeah, no, <laughs> in good time we will definitely. Time will tell. I'm I'm, I'm right now. I'm still focusing on on the collaborations I'm 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 currently working on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, real nasty C. Net. Ne, no, net nasty C. Nasty S A. Yo, sorry guys. I almost said nasty C. Uh, <laughs> he says he misses your tutorials. When are you bringing them back? Uh. Oh, 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 oh! The production tutorials. Mm, hey, I don't know, man. So those were that. That time I was just I just decided to go online and and I opened my FL studio and started producing. I was just vibing with the people. I wasn't really doing tutorials, but then tutorials are something that I'm gonna in the near future I'm gonna probably do. Yeah, production tutorials. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, no. So the yeah the reason why I haven't like done. any any new ones is because i was just j i was in the in the moment it's is hard to to produce while people are watching so i just need to think about it a bit and like okay okay yeah no so i i i guess a lot of people want to learn your secrets man they want to they want to learn your your you know your recipe on how you make this this <laughs> yeah crazy yeah i know i know and i've been thinking about uh also doing tutorials on how i i i made my my release songs like um like like take people like show people how i i made waka from the kick to the bass to to the synth to the synth yeah like mm. break it down so yeah okay and then man um you know second last question In, in 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 your school man you know of of uh, the new age DJs and producers wh- which guys do you respect in the game and why mm, yo <clears throat> yeah there's a lot of us and we all dope man i you know we all dope and different i'm a huge fan of everyone guys like kususa and uta africa yeah someone mentioned uta africa someone i released recently head of is is really dope and very different yeah but yeah man i i just i i vibe with everyone's vibe as long as you mm. sound different yeah as long as you you making those those nice different moves you're not trying to sound like another person yeah you dope and then if you're okay. doing that other thing you're not <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> okay so basically you you're sending respects to everybody out there that is yeah. that, that is being unique and not trying to sound like you know anybody yeah, yeah. else everyone that's unique and yeah yeah man and everyone that loves me man yeah that okay with me, yeah. But it's very tough to 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 be unique in the in the Afro tech space, man. You know, uh, it's not. because <laughs> is it not? So the, yeah, that's why I said, if you're not trying to sound like the other person, so so a lot of people are trying to sound like okay, let me try, okay, um, uh, DJ DJ computer is 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 doing the sound and it's working. Everyone is playing his songs. and then you also going to try to to sound like came mm. or her so what i do i'm also inspired by other people so what i do is 
I will listen to, to another producer and take whatever I can and recreate something, something different from that. Mm. So in that way, you, 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 Nick. Okay. Yeah, no, cool, man. Uh, <clears throat> thanks. Thank you so much for your time, bro. I, I don't want to make this too long. Is there anything that I'm, I might've missed that you just want to, you know, put it out, put out there to the world? Mm, I don't know. We can take questions if there's any more questions. Uh, or if you have anything else to say. I don't know. I I don't think I have anything to say. Yeah, man, you know, um, yeah, guys, if there, if you have any questions, you know, just let us yeah, know. Yeah, if, if, if there's a question, yeah, hit me with questions about maybe projects I'm working on or, yeah, mm. whatever. You know, I, I just wanted to tell your story, bro, because, you know, I don't think that your story is, is shared enough. And, and I think that, you know, you are one of those guys that people should really, really, really look out for. I know already, you know, you're making your mark in the dance scene, but, and you are known in the underground scene. But, you know, I think that people, you know, in the masses are going to want to know your story. You know, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm doing this thing, you know? Sure, yeah, but man. anyway... <clears throat> Rock, Rock Soul says, yo, man, uh, you, are you dropping any new music anytime soon? Yeah. So, <clears throat> like, beginning of this year, I had plans to, to release, yeah, like, uh, this other guy is asking, when is Aircourt dropping? It's one of the songs which I wanted to, I was supposed to drop before before this whole covid thing but then now here's the thing like uh like i mentioned earlier like 10 songs man like 10 songs are meant for for clubs it's club songs so it's it's a it's a really tricky time to be dropping a lot of of club songs if the clubs are not open it it limits the music a lot so like i've, I've seen it with even my own releases, the journey. Like the first month, you know, everyone is excited. The song is new to them. But then by the second month, it's like, yeah, yeah, we've heard this song onto the, something new, you know. But then when, when festivals and clubs are open, the song is, is not limited to only that. It grows, it grows because this other DJ is going to play it. In, in, in Thailand. This one's gonna play it in China. So it's exposed to different people. So that's the reason why I haven't dropped a lot of these club songs. But then I've been working on 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 different vibes. A lot of vocal songs and remixes. Dropping the first remix end of this month and then another one first month of September and then yeah so on. So I expect a lot of remixes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and Cicero wants to know what was your experience in the one million event? Oh, oh, Mozambique. <laughs> uh, which one? So I, I first went to 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 Maputo for one million event in twenty eighteen. Whoa, amazing man! Uh, uh, the production there, bro, like it's it's on the next level. It was. Yeah, man, I, I, there's a lot of love for me in, 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 in Mozambique. So, yeah, give us to them. Okay, I know. Sh sh shout out to Mozambique, man. Um, and also, how, how was it like playing at uh, Deep in the City with, you know, Black Coffee and all those guys? Yeah, oh, that one, yeah, man. <laughs> I always wanted to play there. It was also a, a, a dream come true, that one, yeah. When the first Deep in the City was hosted, I was there. So I, I, used, I, I used to attend almost all the Deep in the Cities if I'm around. So I always wanted to play there because they, they were always playing my songs. And it always, I always like, felt like I was playing, so I wouldn't mind sometimes. But then I always wanted that, the, the feel of being in that scene, yeah. It was really dope, man. People are there for the music. That's the most dopest thing about it there. Mm, okay. 
See, your master says, uh, you know, respect. You deserve to go to Tomorrowland. See, your master is, a, is actually a very uh, talented DJ, and uh, oh, and, shout and, out, shout and, out, and producer as well. So yeah, man, you know, how do you feel about Tomorrowland? Yeah, uh, it's one of the biggest festivals, man. I'd like to play there someday. I will play there someday soon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's that's that, that's like a dream come true for for most for, uh, DJs. It's, for it's, it's any a budget, DJ. It's a bucket list event. For any dance DJ, for sure. Yeah, Coke Straw wants to know: Are you signing new talent on the <laughs> label? No, no, I'm never gonna sign anyone on my label. So. My label is meant for me to release release my songs only, yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah, man, I, I I just don't want to open. Like, it's it's a lot. Uh, I don't think I can be able to, to manage someone else's talent while I'm still dealing with my own. So I don't want to have that pressure right now. And I don't have all those resources. So that's the reason why. So it's it's just for me, while I still release with other labels that I feel like they will, they will push my music to, to to big heights. So yeah. Okay. That's why. Uh, yeah. No. Kelo Kalmini wants to know: Is there a possibility that you might come back to Bushfire in the future? Yeah, yeah. I've 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 played Bushfire. Yeah, for two. For two yeah, two two consecutive years. So I don't I, I don't think I was gonna play this year. I wasn't booked for this year, but yeah, definitely. If they book me again, yeah. Mm, okay. I know bushfire bushfire is the one, man. Bushfire is the one. Yeah. Shout out to Fesh. He says he also has a question. Yo, Fesh, bro, I, ask the question, bro. <laughs> Who's about? <laughs> Who's uh, Fesh, about? Very, very funny guy. Uh, you know, mm. check out these guys, guys. Uh, Fesh and Gobeta on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, uh, Fesh, shout out to you. I see you getting those endorsement deals, dog. <laughs> <laughs> What's your mind? What's your mind, Fesh? Roxol, yeah. Sorry. He must give you money. <laughs> Roxol wants to know, how was it like working with Black Coffee? Mm. Yeah, no, yeah. About that one, man, yo. Yeah. Yeah, that was now that was like a, a, a dream come true, young and bell. Cause, cause for me, I was still uh, trying to discover my sound, and he he was that guy who who was playing Ellen, who is playing Afrotech, Ellen uh, in Europe, especially songs from 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 back here at home. So. I was always sending music to him to play. But then, yeah, <clears throat> I think I was using the, the wrong email. So, so what happened was uh, Eland, and then there was any other way we got in touch with the uh, manager. Yeah, okay. So from me wanting him to play my song, it went to a collaboration. Yeah, well, let me show it. So yeah, it was it was it was a big thing. Okay. Uh, yeah. See, our master says uh, he loves any other way. That's a dope oh. song. A dope song. Oh, what happened there? Things falling. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was exporting one of my songs. It's a bomb song, so it dropped. <laughs> <laughs> That's an explosion. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Abushiro wants to know, where do you see yourself in five years? Yo, man, um, I see myself, like, yo, touring the world, bro. Like, uh, yeah, also, I want to release an album. That's, that's something. That's, I'm definitely going to release that album in, in, in five years. And also, mm -hmm. like, yeah, man, like, go around the world, like, play in all these venues where my music is being played like right now because my, my music is currently at places that I've never been and yeah that's where like I want to be also mm. okay 
Um, you know, besides Mozambique, have we which other places have you played at outside of South Africa? Mm. Uh, Botswana, uh, Kenya. Oh, the scene there. Yo, the Afro scene there is too much. I love Kenya. Uh, Swaziland. Uh, yeah. And then, yeah, Mozambique. Mm. I've, I've went to quite a, a, a few provinces around Mozambique. It's also a very beautiful country, yeah. Okay, yeah, but, 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 but you also want to hit Europe. Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, we're working on that. Hopefully soon. And yeah, I was supposed to. I was supposed to. I had, like, I had a, a, a few possible gigs. Yeah, that was supposed to, to happen uh, this year. But yeah, I guess, yeah. So we're going to next year, man. <laughs> mm. Yeah. It's, it's COVID, COVID, Corona. Um, Maela wants to know, man, uh, as a self taught producer, do you think that production schools are necessary? <clears throat> Mina, personally, no. Because uh, not just with production, like also with the Photoshop, designing posters, I. I remember this other time I was hosting an event. So I didn't have funds to, to, to pay a designer. So what I did was I went to, to YouTube, how to design a poster, and then I did my shy. So for me now, I'm able to, to, to learn most things through YouTube. So for me, no. For some people, maybe, yeah. But then... I've seen like a lot of people go to production schools and then come back not knowing how to produce. Because a lot of these schools, they teach, uh, uh, they teach sound engineering. So you, you, you taught there how to mix, master, and other things. So you go there thinking that you, you, you want to be taught how to produce. Yeah. I think they, they use lessons on production, but then they don't focus on production unless there's schools that focus on music production. Mm, okay. And then, you know, uh, Vibe with KP wants to know, do you only use Fruity? Fruity Loops, or do you, what, what softwares do you use? Fruity Loops, Pella. And cheat. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I tried, I tried to to use the land. He, uh, what's the software? Uh, Reason. Uh, Reason. Nah. Nah, it's not for me. It's complicated for, for no reason. Uh, what else? I'd like to, to try Eland or Elvetil. Amani and Wabonil and Amani, like... Uh, uh, Chupe, Zonkele is nah, nah, Fruity Loops is the one that must not like to you, yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, Lu 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 Luca, Luca, you know, wants to know if you can expect an EP. You answered that earlier on, but uh, Lu Luca, you just got in. So yeah, yeah, just... I'm, yeah, yeah. No EP, uh, just singles and remixes. Unless they open up the country, then I'll drop. Okay, uh, uh, this guy says, uh, I've met, I've met Kerana so multiple times on events, but I'm, I'm unable to start a convo. But the way he wants to, but the way he wants to interact with his friends is powerful. Okay, this dude is kind, trust me, God bless you, bro. Okay, that's uh, a compliment from a uh, real nasty say, real nasty essay. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I see you, bro. I see you, bro. Ah, yeah, I've met this guy, Ellen. Uh, deep in the seat, and he also is, also comes to a lot of my events that I host. Yeah, shout out to you, man. Thank where you. Do you. Where do you normally where do you normally host events? Ah, uh, Bram, my <clears throat> Yeah, that's where that's where I've I've like I've I've I've, I've hosted uh, the first few. Mm. 
Mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no. So I was supposed no. to do, actually, I was supposed to do, to start like, uh, like sessions, residency sessions type of vibe in, in Brown and also in Maboneng. Uh, the living room, it's a rooftop in Maboneng, very top spot. I did the first event there. It was amazing then. And also, uh, Abraham, <clears throat> so uh, uh, N94. So we're planning uh, the first show for the second of May. With where where where, like I had already uh, booked Amachita, like quite a few guys, as far as you and uh, I was I was I was having some conversations that must be So if it wasn't for this lockdown. We're gonna have those monthly sessions, yeah. Lape ninety four. That's for twenty twenty one. Yeah. Okay, March. I know, man. Uh, look, looking forward to twenty twenty one next year. To your sessions, uh, T Maxi underscore P. Uh, it's asking if you do your own mixing and mastering. Uh, for 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 e for the work uh, EP, I did my own mastering. And mixing, and uh, most songs that I've released, I do my own mixing, and then uh, the label will uh, outsource the the the, ma the mastering. Oh, Cuba does a lot of my mastering as well, yeah. But mixing, yes, and okay. Shout out to Cuba, man, talented dude. Shout uh, out to that dude, man. Yo, Maisie underscore RSA is asking if you doing any collaborations with Ino Napa and the couple. Yeah, um, there's something I'm working on with Ukapo. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah, we definitely work. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. You heard it here first, exclusive, you know, uh, Karanga Soul and the couple. They've got a, a track coming out soon. They're working on something yeah, together. You won't let us still know working what, on it. We're still working on it. No pressure. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, it's still, yeah, it's, it's still in the studio. Yeah, yeah. We started working on the song uh, a month, a month back. Yeah, mm. A couple of weeks back there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Faka says, uh, first knew you as Dark Orchid, Orchid. Should we expect anything from Mr. Orchid? No, 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 no. So, <clears throat> so when, and I uh, forgot the year, uh, but yeah. So I had other names, man, other alias names. I wanted to release like different vibes, but yeah, nah. I'm just going to release everything under one name because building one brand takes just forever now. I Having another alias that I have to, 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 to rebuild, yeah, I, it's going to take forever now. Yeah. So whether mm. I'm releasing R&B, Gome, anything is going to be under Kinda Soul. Okay. So Kinda Soul is not an Afrotech DJ producer. Dance, mm. dance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Vuske yeah. says, uh, you know, he, uh, he would love to collaborate with you one of these days. So how, how do people collaborate with you if they want to make, you know, a song with you? How do they do that? Uh, send me an email. Uh, send me an email uh, of your songs, man. If I like the vibes, then, yeah, so on. Collaborate collaborations. Uh, I'm, I've only started doing collaborations, a lot of them this year, because I was still like in the stages of discovering myself, like discovering my sound. So I was in, I was not yet comfortable with uh, collaborating. So yeah, man, just send me your music. Let me check it out. If I dig the vibe and I feel like we can create something new, then. Okay, yeah, no, you heard it, Vuske. Uh, in Seleni Family Friends Picnic, that sounds like an event. They say they, they wish to book you for this year's at, at Richard's Day. Uh, so, um, I think I, 
Yeah, I, I, I think your details are in your profile. <laughs> Slide on the DMs. <laughs> yeah, no. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, my booking email is there, man. Yeah. Just okay. holler. Just holler at me. I will respond. Okay. Just this move DJ. 24-7. Just move DJ wants to know if you guys um, have slots for upcoming DJ. So Just Moose is also a very dope um, after tech DJ. So he's asking for the events that you'll be planning. You know, he wants to come and play there. So well, if you... Oh, yeah. if you... <clears throat> so, so with the events I was, I was, I was, I was working on, uh, what I would do is uh, invite upcoming guys that I know that are like are, are doing the right thing. Yeah. Within the right vibes of what I'm also doing to open up for for the headlining guys. So yeah. If you okay. see me promoting an event that I'm gonna do next year, just hit me up, send me an email about yourself, uh uh like podcasts or SoundCloud link where I can listen to your mixes, your 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 IG your tweet and yeah all those things mm. okay uh my ella wants to know you know what was your thought process when you're creating waka you know what was what was going through your mind what inspired the song basically Ooh, yes that song that's the only song i don't remember i know when i made that song i just don't remember uh the day and what was happening or which 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 vibes but what i know is that like yeah man it was like it was a, a sad time for me i was not depressed but then i was just feeling a bit depressed hey, if you're not depressed but you think you're depressed what's the word for it you're feeling down yeah i was feeling down for 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 quite some time yeah so a lot of people are like the that song is very dark. I think yeah, that's that's the reason for 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 that the emotions. That's those are the emotions that that came out from from that song. Yeah, you were going through a rough patch. Yeah, I should have said that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh vibe vibe with k with kp wants to know what are your f three favorite plugins uh silent that's my mm. favorite silent number one it has everything man if 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 you're doing electronic music yeah synthesizers bass lines your uncle is into this like yeah so with that plugin, you are able to 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 sound design. I do a lot of sound designing, like get a sound, design it to to a way that you want it to sound. So that's how mm -hmm. you come up with your unique unique sound. So silence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thing is, okay. yeah. What's what's the yeah? Uh, you can't crack it. That's cool, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, joking. I'm joking, guys. Bye. You must. No, buy. no. When I first got it, like uh, it was, I cracked it, Baba. I'm not gonna promote. <laughs> I'm not gonna promote that here. Come on, man. So it's up to you what you do, man. Like, yeah. Pa yeah. Buy plugins. Yeah. If, yeah. if you can afford, crack. You, look, you got to do what you got to do to survive, bro, you know? Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. So, okay, man, look, bro, you know what? Um, what I love about this conversation is that, obviously, like, a lot of, um, you know, we always get a lot of upcoming guys asking a lot of questions, and everybody, you know, always wants to be plugged in. And everybody wants to know, you know, what to do to make it to get to, you know, your level. Yeah. And uh, and for me, you know, I, I always ask this question, like, you know, 
if you can advise your younger self, man, what 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 would the advice be just before we wrap up? My younger me. Yeah. I know you're young, but you know, you're younger, younger. You. <laughs> my younger, younger me, like, uh, do, like, whatever my younger me was doing was good. So I would say, yeah, keep on doing whatever you're doing. That's right. Wow. Consistent. Be consistent. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, there's no formula to anything. Well, there is to some things, but then this life thing and whatever career you, 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 you pursuing, yeah. Uh, there's no formula. Just be consistent with what you're doing, and yeah, go forward. Mm. And and do you, do you have a do you have a mentor, Master Keys asking? Yeah. Bon Who's your mentor? Bon <laughs> Me. <laughs> Who's your mentor? this this mentor thing. Uh, no, like ah, uh, shit. What is a mentor? No, I don't have a mentor, man. I, I, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, you know, a mentor is just someone that you kind of like, you know, go to for advice, who points in the right direction, or I'm done. No, 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 do this, do this. You, know? someone that you kind of like look up to. Like, like, yeah, well, when you when you put it like that, I do have uh, those people. But then that's not a mentor. Mm. But then, yeah, for like, like I do have close friends that help me with uh, uh, like uh, things that I need help with. Uh, Cuba is one of them, and I've learned a lot from him with, uh, with mixing, mastering, and and some 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 industry things. Mm. Yeah, okay. Things. From, from from the outside looking in, I would I would think that Black Coffee is your mentor, you know. But hey, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> Why? Uh, you just mentioned Cuba and Vibe with KP wants to know um, that uh, Vibe with KP says that uh, they he saw you on Facebook with Cuba. So um, are you guys working on anything? Mm, we were. Um, I've, you know, with Cuba, I hang out with Cuba a lot. Yeah, with with friends, when we hang out, we, we just laugh. We don't make music. I've uh, we produce songs though. Uh, I don't know what happened to the songs. Uh, that day, this is studio. We're working on. Yeah, uh, we're producing songs for this other artist. She's she's working on her EP, so yeah, we with the producer behind it. Okay, so you're not gonna say who. Okay, two minutes remaining. Master Ma, Master Key, oh, is correcting me. Master Key is like, do you have anyone that you mentor? Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, a lot. <laughs> Okay, you're mentoring a lot of I'm people. I'm mentoring everyone who's, who's listening to my music. Yeah, my music says a lot, man. It's, it'll, it'll teach you a lot. So, what am I saying? <laughs> nah, man, I'm kidding, man. Nah, nah. There, there's no one. Like, yeah, I'm not mentoring anyone. Okay. Uh, no, he's not mentoring anyone, gents, and he also doesn't have a mentor. He just has people that he asks. Yeah, I'm also advice. not open to mentoring anyone. So, I can help with advising. Yeah, man. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool, man. Listen. But you never know. To... You never know. You never know. Shout out to everybody that watched uh, this interview. Um, we're out of time. Uh, Vibe with KP says, play something before you leave. There, bro, there's 40 seconds left. I don't know if he's got something there. Can play. Ah, shit. Oh. My computer is off. <laughs> His PC is off. Sine uh, Gubukumaona says, yo, how's it, dog? So could you could you work with Tangi Dry? And Iris? Iris is a song. It's an EP. What? It's a, it's a remix. It's a remix I did for Tandy. 
Oh, okay. Yo, how's it? So, okay, yeah, yeah, that's question. Yo, shy the number. 